right, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hill Blaze, at thehillblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING. Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products. Website, promo code description. Thanks. Man, we back. Good fella Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And we got into a debate on one of the sports groups on Facebook. Who was a better player, Dirk Davinsky or Kevin Garnett? Now, Davinsky was an NBA champion in 2011, finals MVP, most 11 fi- MVP in NBA in 2017, 14-time te- NBA All-Star, four-time All-NBA first team, five-time second team, third-time, three-time all uh NBA third team, not Garnett, um, who started it three years before, um, in 95, before Dirk Nowitzki started in 98. He was NBA champion in 2008, most valuable player three years before Dirk in 2004, 15-time NBA All-Star to Dirk 14. Um, he was first team all NBA four times. Dirk was uh, four times as well. He was three-time all NBA second team. Dirk did that. Five times in third team, he was a, uh, you know, uh, twice all third team, and I think Navinsky was third team three times, as well. Um, and other than that, you know, he was a defensive player of the year, um, all defensive team nine times. Dark never did that. Three time all defensive team second team, and uh, he was a rebound champion uh, from 2004-2017 four times. All right, that's just to say some of that, say some of the things that they've done. Nowitzki had better overall career stats, but remember, Garnett really tapered off bad at the end, but so did Dirk. You know, Dirk averaged 20 points a game, um, 38 from the three, 47 from the field, seven and a half rebounds, 2.4 assists, 0.8 steals, 0.8 blocks. Garnett career was, uh, trying to see his points. It got a little funny on here. Give me a minute. Pull up his points. I want to say he was a he averaged like seventeen points a game. Yep, seventeen point eight, ten rebounds, and three point seven assists. And okay, it, to me, uh, just to keep it short, simple, and sweet, Garnett was a better NBA player than me. People say, "Oh, Dirk, Dirk, Dirk was a great player." Yes, Dirk was a great player. Dirk was a great three pointer. Player, but when people look at it, it's just more than more than just the offensive side of the ball. Dirk was a better shooter, but to me, Garnett had a better post game. Garnett was obviously a better rebounder. Garnett was a better defender. And personally, maybe I have a bias because Garnett was is probably one of my three of my favorite players. You go Iverson, Garnett, um, and Kobe. Um, with three of my favorite players, you know what I'm saying? Isaiah slash Kobe, you know, right there as well. Isaiah Thomas, the Zeke from the Pistons, but. Um, to me, I think it ain't no debate. Garnett was an all-around better player. They both got one ring. They both got one MVP. And Garnett was just a better. Just to me, he was he was more. He was tougher. He was a better defender. He was a better rebounder. And Dirk was a good shooter, and he was a good mid-range shooter. And so was Garnett, but he had a good three-pointer. What Dirk did revolutionize the game. Dirk, you know, is responsible for all these stretch fours, stretch fives, taking it to the three-point line and for the Przingis's and the Anthony Davis and the Carl Anthony Towns. Dirk Nowitzki has an ever long, everlasting impact on the NBA. He revolutionized the NBA, and you can't take that from him, but that doesn't mean that he was actually a better player than Kevin Garnett. You know what I'm saying? But I respect Dirk. They both was was amazing players, man. And and Dirk Nowitzki is one of my favorite finals. Uh, I think it is my favorite finals other than the Pistons winning they three wings to go back and watch is when he beat the Miami Heat when nobody gave him a chance. I remember – I think it was 07. He lost to Dwayne Wade and Shaq, and Dwayne Wade went off, and I thought they was going to win. They was up 2 nothing. I think the Heat came back and won every game. And he came back, you know, several years later, redeemed himself versus LeBron and, and, and um, you know, Bosh and Wade. And, you know, that's that was a high moment, man. He balled out. They both was, was big-time players. Um, but to me, Garnett was, was all-time better. He did everything. Defensive player of the year, all-NBA defense. He could shoot it from mid-range. He can post up. Uh, you know, Garnett was just a fucking amazing man. You know, and, and the reason he didn't get a ring out west is because of Shaq and Kobe. Shaq and Kobe did not, in the Spurs, did not a lot of people. They just didn't have a matchup for Shaq. Garnett was too light in the ass to deal with him, and um, the other guys they had there couldn't deal with him. And then again, he lost uh, Malik Seeley. He died. Tom Gugliotta. He ended up injuring himself. 
Wally Zerbiak was pretty straight, but he ended up injuring himself. Most people remember Wally Zerbiak for the tail end of his career with Cleveland. But let me know who you guys think was better, Garnett or Nowinski. Don't forget to check out our our our, uh, our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow Unboxing get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. Check them out, thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow Unboxing. Once again, they got lotion soaps, foot soaks, bad bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair pomade, much, much more. Website, promo code description. And don't forget me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All those links in the description. Appreciate the love, support, one time for the one time. We know.